Hey guys, what's up? It's Elizabeth here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, if you guys don't know, a hurricane is coming and so I made a video all about populations except that I did end it a little bit early because I wanted to upload it. Keeping you updated on that throughout this video, hoping to actually record during the hurricane a little bit too so I'll be charging my phone once again until the power goes out. Uh, yeah, let's jump right in and get started. So we had no clue if we would lose power, so I ate some ice cream. I know I look in misery, but it actually did taste fine. Due to my father having a procedure the day before, um, I had to help put the shingles, the shutters on. Look how shiny this new tub is. It almost looks as good as new. Look at this. It's amazing. So my mother did this so we can put some clean water, or well, semi-clean water, in it to flush the toilet, to wash our face. This is the only tub we have in the house, so. Executed the plans that you have in place, you need to do so now. If you are going to be leaving the area, you need to wrap up those plans immediately, especially if you have been told to evacuate. And that is primarily for Lee County and into Charlotte County. The most devastating part of the storm is gonna be pushing on shore. To my mother and hearing some folks on the news it seems like a lot of people were awake at three in the morning um that's about when the storm really started to get bad i think so yeah i just took a shower so let's fill this tub up and here it comes oh wait 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 i uh forgot to put the plug in it i actually need to do that Okay, now we can do that. Let's try that again. There we go. Is our little space for now. We're still clearing some of the clothes out. Um, this is my bench. That's my mother's bench, and that's my father's chair. We got a little bit of table here. My backpack's in there. It's about 11 and we're eating a little bit early just in case we need to go into the shelter place. So, and watching this for entertainment. Hey guys, so I'm in the shelter right now, not because I have to be, but because I'm kind of bored. Um, you know, there's this feeling that you're going to get behind your work, but then there's also the feeling like, well, what can you do about that, right? And so you kind of just trust God, right? At this point, um, we have pillows here. So that you can put them on top of our heads if, or if anything falls down. Um, we have games as well. I have a helmet over there also to put on top of my head. Um, some stuffed animal. My backpack that has, you know, emergency stuff. We have a radio so we know when it's safe to come in and out of this room. Um, I will say we did eat way too early in my opinion. But oh well, we wanted to be safe and sorry. Um, so, yeah, I've been just trying to figure out what I can do here just on my phone. I want to save my computer for the most uh, vital part. Um, and, yeah, that, that's pretty much it. There's really not much I can do at this moment. Um, I can do more stuff next week, I guess. But, you know, um, yeah, there's a lot of uncertainty. But also, I, I've been just living in a lot of uncertainty ever since I finished college. So, uh, about, like, career-wise and, like, starting a business and, like, where I should go and where I should be has really been about a, you know, just this whole, you know, first quarter of the year of finishing college. And so it's been a lot of trusting God. And then now we have a hurricane and we have no clue what a house will look like afterwards. And so got a lot of trusting God. And that's why I really like Psalms 23, which should be coming out before you see this video about just trusting God. I don't know how the order is going to go, but it's all about how God, you know, we might not have everything we want, but we have, will have what we need. And what we need might be very, very small. It might just be sustaining our life, <laughs> you know, or it might be taking us to heaven, um, you know. So whatever will be is his will, and that's what's best. As well, and, and in a lot of places, they have just stopped responding because it's not safe for them to go out. Form in the eye or excuse me, the eye wall basically goes from Port Charlotte to Cleveland as well as towards Rotunda 
Boca Grande, so this is going to be the eye wall. I don't think they're going to come back on again. They've been doing it on and off lately. What happens? Do you, do you know what happens at the power station? Yeah. Been reading this book, How to Destroy America. Oh, the lights! I got that on recording. Oh, I've been reading How to Destroy America in Three Steps by Ben Shapiro. So, yeah. And I'm reading this book, Mary Oliver, a poetry handbook. In the morning, it's about, let's see, it's just turned 6 o'clock this morning. Um, woke up at about 5.20 this morning. Actually, that's the same time I woke up last night. Um, that I actually got up, but I did wake up about two times in the night. Um, yeah, so I'm just now emptying out this closet in here that we have. Um, and then I'm now just laying it on top of this bed here. This is actually the bed I slept on. This is my mother's bed. Um, and so I slept on that, uh, last night. Um, we went to bed about 9.30. As you guys can see, we have power in this area of the house. So about here, over and onward, we have power. Now, anything from this area... Onward, the power is practically off. I guess the 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 um, washing machine area is the exception to that rule. Okay, so my bedroom also does not have power since it's since it's this way onward. Um, I'm just kind of unloading things a little bit. Um, however, I am going to get. Um, oops, sorry for the blurriness. I don't know why it's being blurry on me here. Um, but I am going to try to get to working out. This is what I wore and what I slept with last night. Um, this is how truly dark it is. Okay, y'all, so this is what this room looks like. We have the chairs in here. Um, and then I also put a few of my equipment in here. Um, and there, because they are wet equipment, and I did not want them to get wet just in case we flooded. Um, that's a tie that on. My briefcase also up against just in case there was any water. Okay, you guys, so with some work, I was able to make the DV, sorry, not the DVD, uh, the CD player to work. So if you're younger than I am, this is a CD player. There's a disc right here like this. You put that in there, and then you got to get the setting. That's the thing that I was having trouble with. I put that in. This is a v LifeWay VBS, the Southern Baptist version of VBS. Because I grew up Baptist, so yeah. Now I get some music to work out with. This definitely completely makes me feel old, but it also feels so nostalgic hearing a CD player. We actually had that CD player all the way back in New York, I remember. Um, so it's been here for quite some time, and I'm very surprised that it works. I have my boots on, the rubber, and I'm now going to go outside. This is the actress way. That thing completely broke off. That's my unofficial call. The mirror kind of broke off there. Trees. That's our garage area. That's completely broken off. So, yeah. It is very windy and dark out here. Folks are on the street saying what's up. Let's see. All sorts of plastic. Again, not much flooding. Not much flooding at all. Shingles. The water down there is quite full. As you can see, there's supposed to be um, holes down there to let the water in and out, but there's none of that down here at all. The window's right there, completely off. Uh, there were shutters on there. You can tell because the boards are right there and it came off and then you can tell up there completely off there as well too on and that would be my parents bathroom so that must be the parents room my bed was like right adjacent to it so my bed was over there and that's the window well actually it wasn't my bed but it's my mother's bed but it's where i slept that night look at that 
The stop sign over there is completely down as well. Really good since it's still on my car and it doesn't look like it is mood, so that's come. So and the Powell people are coming to walk on the, I don't know, electricity, I think, right? Yeah, uh, the, yeah the utilities. Oh, the utilities. That's part of a loot line. Yeah. Alright, I'll I'll supported it party, and those are trash like cans. My work is all gone now, um, so I had to go in the road, but then the other side was kind of blocked too, so I could try to jump it, but you know what, I'm not going to there today, I'm out of breath, so windy out, yeah, so hard to run, and I also ate way too much for lunch to go running this that early soon, uh, so I'm going to go back now, uh, pull right there, in the middle of the road, or the sidewalk actually.